for one do hope they play copyrighted music. I lost Inside Gaming again for this? It's Charlotte and Patrick. Again. I do wonder if the screen will be covered in screenshots and garbage today. It wouldn't be fun for me anymore if they got partner. I love so much to watch What A Show. You're watching What A Show. A cyberbully? Oh my, what will they think of next? If you need anything, please do not hesitate to push the purple button to your left. An attendant will be with you shortly. My mother-in-law is always up my ass about how I spend my day. I can't help but chuckle because me? I'm watching What A Show on Twitch.tv. Heavens, look at the time. It's nearly What A Show.
wonder what Charlotte and Patrick will get up to today. I hope it's Craigslist. I think the mods should be allowed to ban people, if it's funny. What's that? A show? Never thought I'd see the day. Heavens, look at the time. It's nearly what a show. Sometimes I wonder whether Patrick is actually hurting Charlotte's feelings, or if it's all one big joke. Fascinating. Quiet, darling. What a show is about to start. Alright, let's wrap it up. Ah, uh, the French water show. I miss the Patrick is afraid of bones era. It's just not the same show anymore. If I was Charlotte, I'd simply get a better computer. Doesn't seem all that complicated. If what a show were ever to fully solve its technical issues, I imagine I would have to stop watching. Oh God, it's what a show. And it's headed right towards us. What do you think Charlotte dreams of? Is it pleasant? Frankly, I'm here for Waylon and Gatito. You know, back in my day, we didn't have anime sex noises. It's what a show time. It's what a show.
What? A show? I for one do hope they play copyrighted music. Inside gaming again for this? It's Charlotte and Patrick. Again. I do wonder if the screen will be covered in screenshots and garbage today. It wouldn't be fun for me anymore if they got partner. Once more from the top. Hoo hoo hoo! Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Charlotte's coming. Don't worry. We don't know when. That's why we're on Charlotte watch. We got some subs. Hang on a second. Pee pants. Someone would potty in their drawers. Tier one, twenty-five months. Who did we miss? We miss, didn't like. Oh no, we missed the anniversary. Who cares? Who cares? What else we got? Attempted mustache, gifted one to go Panini. Thank you. Uh, Cashbone, as always, subscribed for 27 months. Fight Haver, 32 months. A little catching up to do on Cashbone's part. Speaking of catching up, Driftless, 93, 23 months. I think that's it, right? Surely no one has subscribed since. No, 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 no. Oh, Curry, Curry, subscribe. Thank you, Curry. Um, we do exist in a, well, we exist in a cube zero, not a hyper. I'm quiet. Hang on. Yes, I can see that I am. Un momento, por favor. How's that? Is that any better? I believe it's better. I see. Oh, is that just my mic? Twas, twas. My mic was, the levels were quivering in the corner. Quivering. Okay. Uh, is hypercube, is it worse than cube zero? Did any, hang on, okay, let's get into it. This is my, yes, this is my crib. This is my bed. It's a small home, okay. <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> Um, how was I going to say? Oh, did anyone else watch, attempt to watch as I did, the Japanese remake, is it Japanese? Of Cube. 
No, all the Cube movies are not. The Cube movies are fantastic. They get the fuck out of here. Rebel Cow gifted to Jerry and Jake House. Thank you so much. Oh, we're getting a text. Huh. Charlotte Watch may be over. I don't want to excite anyone, but Charlotte Watch... Hello, can we can we, <clears throat> can we call an official end to Charlotte Watch 2024? It seems like the answer is no, because I'm getting zero uh, audio. I see a look of surprise, a, a common look of surprise from Charlotte. That often means something is off in her settings. She can't say anything. She can't say anything. I can say whatever I want right now. She can't say shit. She literally, she can't say shit. Look at her. You can't see her. I haven't put her up yet. Hang on. Uh, a moment, Charlotte, a moment, please, if you don't mind. Um, just getting some stuff sorted out on this end, so. If you could just hang tight, please. Just go ahead and hang tight. Right, go ahead, speak. Speak. Am I here? Hello? She's here. Charlotte Watch is officially over for 2020. I don't understand. I don't understand why you wouldn't at least put me on screen muted because. Do you want to get uh, muted? You know, Do you want to get muted again? Do you want to get muted? Honestly, again? that's fine by me. I just feel like if we're not using my, you know, my sexuality to sell subs. Sexuality. Um, is that what memberships. This is? Is it not? Because uh, we must be on different pages then. Because I, I'm pretty sure that's why people keep coming back. Because I of my raw thought, sexual nature. I thought I was the brains and the beauty. That's what we're always saying. I'm and the I'm the brawn. And the I know. I know. <laughs> well, I think I actually I hear that I'm the brawn as well. Yeah, but you can't just take things that different people say and combine them into one thing. That's one saying. Be beauty, brains, and brawn? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's a saying, but what we what we do is we split it up. This is a cooperative effort. I think you're crazy loud. Hang on a second. Okay. That's a different uh, Actually, difference than usual. No, I think you're fine. Okay. You think I'm crazy for this one? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. You think I'm crazy for this one, dog? It was peaking, but then it wasn't actually hitting. I don't know. Well, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta pop into studio mode real quick just to make sure it looks like everything is fine on the other. It's not great, like it's a little off, but that's I think with what I could, what I'm capable of currently in this moment, mm -hmm. I think we're okay. Yeah, we got the logo. We got both our faces. Um, the raw sexual nature. Uh, well, I didn't know. Once I don't again, know that we have that. <laughs> I think we don't. But you think you do. Uh, I, see. I think yes. I, I do. See. I, see. I know I, I do. I see. I've been all across this great country of ours, from California to Oregon to Washington. Yes, you back into Oregon, places. back into California. And everyone everywhere says, you got a body that just won't quit. Avery. Is that what they're saying you know these days? They're that's saying. what's on the that's what's on the streets. That's the word. That's 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 what the Gallup polls are saying. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Do you want to do a quick uh I mean, we we really don't have time for much, but I could give you a couple minutes if you wanted to do a very very quick tour recap. Have you mentioned? Please to the chat make at it all so fast. The only bro. reason that you that you've been deputized today is because I said I'll be home a little late. Can you host the stream? Here's what happened. <laughs> Here's what, if you want the true story, if you don't care about the truth, yeah, then find another me show. Me or them? Them. Yeah, uh, I get a. Uh, I get a phone call from a sobbing Charlotte tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is. But it's not because it's not what you think. It's because I put banana peppers in my eyes. I'm so tired from the tour. Can you please be here today? I hang up. I don't say anything. But I do. Yeah. I do stream. But I I leave her hanging. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's how my night's gone so far. If you can imagine that. I hope to God that you don't get real power one day. Oh. You think I, I don't know. I think I'd be fine with I it. I actually think you would do pretty well. Sometimes you, you know, need for being, for being up front. Sometimes you need an iron fist. But well, no, I think but, what you don't want to admit is that you're a, you're a, you're a gentle soul. But you have a gentle hang on, soul. hang on, an iron fist. But 
<laughs> Iron Fist, Gentle Soul. A, vel- a yeah. velvet glove. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> right. Kind of right. kinky too. Mold, you mold it around it. Glove. Yeah, you could. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of like a tiny, like a tiny dildo with a fist on the end. Yeah, but it's got a nice glove. On it. <laughs> nice, a nice, a nice velvet sheen on it. Yeah. It's 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 um velour, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does not do well with liquids. Saint of Sunrise, thank you for subscribing. Saint of Sunrise, thank you. Anyway, I've been all across this great country of ours. Oh yeah, I yeah. Have sorry. An I, for you. I guess no, you go ahead. Few, no, you go have ahead. a few minutes. You have, a, you have like. No, no. Ask your question. Ask your question. No, I no, guess no, I'll it allow was, it. It was for the chat. No, no. So if you if you, you want to talk about the tour, I get. Hang on. What time is it? It's. Eight, I mean, it's. We're really, seven, we're really, really seven. pushing it. But if you, if there was anything, like, if you could sum it up in one word, I guess what would it be? Okay. Do we want to raid? Okay, that's enough. That's Rin, <laughs> goddess, <laughs> Seiko. Too many words. It's way too many words already. Toku Shatsu. Do we want to raid Toku Shatsu? That's we they're, will uh, raid. They're showing Cam and Ryder. We'll raid that person later. Um, uh, killed all the rappers now, listening to his old unreleased rapping. Not um, interested. Sorry. What else is going on? Someone named Sir Lar is playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Not heard of him. Not heard of him or the game. So. Mm. Well, Maybe that's all I had. Okay. So you don't have a one-word summary. I saw a one-word summary of the tour. Yes. Hmm. Please hurry it. Surely something is right on the tip of your tongue there. No, I, mean, I think on. it. I think if I, I uh, if I had just weren't one word, yep. I would I would wish for more words. That's not. That's still you used more than one word to do to say all that though. So you already you still wasted everyone's wish. time. I think I would just say more. I think I would say more, Genie. <laughs> what's the highlight? What's the best show? Portland. Portland? Uh, but everything was great. They were all great shows. It's funny because like we played People Sacramento. Show up where or not really? Sac- uh, <laughs> I can't yeah, even I'm see done, you, I'm but done. I can hear, their, I can hear your yeah, expression. <laughs> um, I still don't understand why Sacramento is such a what a show town. That um, is odd, isn't it? Uh, our own Avery came. Yeah. And uh, they, I saw a, a proto guy sticker on the phone filming me, which Fantastic. I gotta admit, during my set was a little hard to keep it well, together. Um, I saw multiple What a Show merches. Uh, I didn't know we did that. You could buy a What a Show hoodie. I forgot about that. Do you have yeah, one of those? It's just like the logo, right? No, I don't think I got yeah. that one. But I, I saw a new shirt for a new year. Great. Yeah. Um, I didn't even. It was buy that. I didn't buy the new shirt for New Year even. I haven't bought that either yet because yeah. I still haven't finished wearing the new tank for the new year. That's the thing uh, is, I, I like the 2023 one and I wear it out. I wear that and I wear. I never wear the one. I never wear. Uh, what was what was mine? The oh the um miss you like a brother, love you like a dog. Something in Carson. Yeah. Uh, well, that there's uh, that's not Carson with the top down. No, we didn't make cars. We didn't it's publish. Love you Carson like a brother. Stuff, it's it's miss you like a brother. Love you, love like, you a like a dog. Uh, oh, uh, Carson claims another. Not it's not it's Carson. It's claims Carson another. claims yeah. another. It's not yeah. pays the dirt price because pays the dirt price is the one with me on it. I wear um, I wear pay the dirt price and I wear a new shirt for New Year twenty twenty three edition, and I have been asked before, <laughs> what is that shirt by like cashiers. And then I have, and then I have to do like the fastest mental math to be like, okay, do I say it's from a stream, and then do I say it's from a stream that I do, and right. which one is worse? Um, I think. Do you want one word? Do you want a one word answer for that one? Goodwill. Please. Oh, I'll bring him, drop him off at Goodwill. No, I think I think just tell them that's where you got it. Oh, I mean, I could, yeah, but I'm usually it's it's too fast. I kind of want to make a 24 so tank because I really I like wearing the other one as like a workout and sleep shirt as a mm-hmm. tank, but the having the T is totally different. It's a completely Wait, different vibe. Where did "Miss You Like a Brother, Love You Like a Dog" come from? Because it is, I kind of it just, slips my mind, but it is like one of the funniest phrases I think that has ever. It just come it out came of from deep deep within my mind while you and uh, okay. Diction were talking. I truly don't know where. It it, yeah. it, may, it was probably like a an, uh, a combination of like shows and books that I had been like consuming as of late, but mm-hmm. I was I was left to my own devices. Simply put, yeah. Um, 
I think you said before I left on tour, I think when I was going to get chocolate, I think you said it's all love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. But I ended up saying that. It's a very the funny phrase. Tour. It's a very funny <laughs> phrase. Well, I, I started saying it as a joke on tour. And then pretty soon, because we go on tour with another band uh, called Minimal, which if mm-hmm. you, y'all haven't listened to Minimal, highly, highly, highly recommend. But like pretty soon by the end, everyone was like, it's all love. Yeah, it's all love, it's, man. It's, it's all love. It's such a stupid. <laughs> it's such a stupid phrase. It means nothing. Um, I immediately can picture a type of guy that would say that, like the type of guy it's that you would, would talk to for an hour and a half and have talked about absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> it's the kind of guy that, like, if you ran into someone from high school for four hours, he would name people that you haven't thought of in fifteen years. Yes, kind and of. that's but pretty and much like, all he's gonna do. And at and the end, packing, he's like, "Yeah, he's I mean, packing it's cool a bong that from. looks like it went through just hell." The whole like time. it was found. It was found in Pompeii. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, Dirty Mike, Andy Boys, and M Tilby both subscribed. While well, you were ranting, yeah, <laughs> carrying on. You see this? I do. You see this? I do. Joku eighteen sees it because they subscribed. Yogurt has the most curious eyes. They're so strange. You said that, but then you asked me to show you pictures, and then in all of them you went, I guess she has normal eyes. Yeah, but now I'm seeing them again, and they're like, I think they're really big, maybe? Well, they're she's very really small. big or far apart. Maybe that's it. Maybe she's so she's small. She's very small, right? so I think relative to her, her eyes look very big. Yeah. And my humanity, you don't ever got to worry about not subscribing. Our own mods rarely subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or watch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, mods. Uh, Yogurt's gonna get a friend in a couple days. Yeah, new housemate. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, Jack the Mac, thank you. Question for the chat: Where are you from? This is this is going somewhere. No, this is for the chat. This is a going somewhere. But I just need to know where Jack the Mac. I just just need to know where they're from. No, just chat. Where is chat from? Well, Jack the Mac, you have to contribute too. (laughs) <laughs> yes. It's been a lot of places. Okay, a lot of places. Who here is from the best place? <laughs> I mean, Cincinnati, so that's that's a that's a great place. Yeah, if you're a Reds fan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not even the main city I would think of in Ohio. Dayton, I, baby. It's probably the main one I think of. I think of Dayton. I think of Dayton because of Guided by Voices, the band from Dayton. I think that's where Lindsay was born. Yeah, probably. Someone saying the Andromeda Cluster. Dayton Um, Dragons. Go so go Dayton Dragons. Yeah. Uh, Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know if I would say Pennsylvania as a whole. We're not doing home. We're not doing homelands this today. No, it's It's not that kind of episode. It's too easy. Um. How about I saw? Oh, South Dakota sucks. Oh no, someone's from South Dakota. Okay, I did see a South Dakota. Yeah, I would love a mailing address if possible. <laughs> yeah, please. Um, we're gonna and we're, we're gonna, gonna need to know which door is unlocked. During, we're gonna roll uh, with South like Dakota. Hours. So who was from South Dakota? Where was that? Um, <laughs> Look at this child, Sarah B. Okay. Uh, what are you if, doing? If you don't mind, can you just give me just just throw one of these back at me, okay? You just doesn't have to be where you're from. Just just give me a place. We got Northeast me? South Dakota. Pier, okay. Pier, which I know it's pronounced Pier, even though it's spelled Pierre. Uh, Rapid City slash West South Dakota. Sioux Falls slash Southeast. Just those. If anyone from South, Rap- anyone Rapid from Rapid City. Well, I was offering it up to the chat, but oh, that's okay. fine. I guess sure. I was getting my arms are getting tired holding this child. Lexi Lucy's also South Dakota. Um, oh, look at that! All right, I'm seeing Sioux Falls. Yeah, I have a lot of friends from Sioux Falls. You're not one of them, are you? One of those friends. Okay. You've met. You've met one. Of those, you've met two of those friends actually. All right. <laughs> I gotta wash all this cat hair off my face. Okay. Well, Don't do what you're doing. Come back. I already did it. I already went. Can't just put the cat back in the 
bag. See how I said bag there? Like South Dakota or Minnesota, really any of those states. Ugh. I'm back. Okay. Oh, I see you're doing something. Can you give me a little stream? Yes, I'm trying to adjust your video just to... Yeah, well then I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a snack while we while that, while that happens. I mean it's gonna be done. Okay. Oh Lord. All right. Apparently I have to wait, so. But you know why we're here, you know what we're doing. You back? Can we start the show now? Please, Are you talking to me? Please, can we start the show now? Bring your desktop to me, oh, please. Okay. I was trying to find, um, I was trying to see if a corner of YouTube existed that I wanted to exist, which was Soda YouTube. And it's not exactly it what I wanted. Really it does. Okay. Yeah, but I was trying to look for people that just drink cases of soda. Like, that's just their whole thing. But it was mostly like, you know, a thousand pound sisters, my 600 pound life. And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to horn in on TLC's whole deal. No. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, so first of all, obviously we're gonna look for apartments and housing in the Sioux Falls area, the Sioux Falls metro. There's uh, actually been a sort of grassroots revitalization project in the streets of Sioux Falls with strong you towns. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and you're talking on yes, your ass right now. Uh, but here's the what? What are you talking about? There's what? There's grassroots? Huh? There's grass in Sioux Falls now? You're saying or something? Why are there so much border on the right of our webcams? Don't! Oh my god. Who gives a shit? Because <laughs> I didn't have time. Previously, okay? I said, can you share the okay. shit? And you were like, oh, I'm fixing your camera. Because I didn't have time. Oh, I'm is... fixing your camera. Okay. You know what? I think I think somebody asked what this no, no, is. No, no, this no, is a no. Pink Lady Apple Health Aid Kombucha. No, 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 no. You mess with the bull? You go right here. See that? I can't. Hold on. I can't see that. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's better. Okay. I can see it now. Okay where your camera is now and the whole the chat's gonna be so mad the whole time they're gonna be saying get get her out of there and i say sorry i don't, don't think anyone's been mad about having to see my face uh not publicly god um, it's so bright there it is <laughs> what <laughs> all right here's the th here's what we're gonna do okay first of all what's the problem apartments housing <laughs> that actually looks much better <laughs> Everyone, relax. We will make the screen bigger. This is the Craigslist homepage. There's nothing to see here, okay? When there's something to see, I'm going to make it bigger. Kavish? Okay? Kavish? Not as uh, otter says, like Patrick! I look, like I look like a picture that a girl would have posted on Instagram in 2009. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great... What a time on, to be alive. Dad. Was there a better time to be alive? I gotta... Say, oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a MySpace photo right there. It's weird seeing it in, like, portrait. Motion? Oh, or in portrait. landscape, sorry, in landscape. Yeah, that's more like it. And you, would, this? But, and you would still post it like that, even though it's sideways. And I gotta get so much arm in there. Like, We should explain to our younger audience, uh, this is how all pictures were taken for like five years. Yeah, and then if, soon after that, they looked like this. Yep, yep, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, let's. Okay, so we're Keep gonna rolling, 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 rolling. Ah. Obviously, we start with um, housing, right? Yeah, no, definitely, of course. However, I just figured while we're here, 
Let's check out ATVs and snowmobiles and stuff like that. And then if we like what we see. Yeah. Yeah. What do yeah. we need? Because we have to move there. Jobs. Oh. So we also check oh, out okay. TV, film, and video jobs. So we're moving our whole this. lives. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, I think also, like, if we're... So let's say hypothetically. Like, this is a blank slate type situation. It's mm. hypothetical, you know? Mm. Probably, we're probably going to need husbands. Should probably I'm, get on the personal side. I need a husband? <laughs> I don't yeah. want a husband. I, don't, I would prefer not to have a husband, person. I'm sorry, but that's how it works if you want to move to Sioux Falls. I don't even know that deal. a husband is what you want. Absolutely not. Okay. I'm but proudly I guess, lesbian. I guess, hey, when in Rome. When, when you're Rome. starting a new life, right? though, you start a new life. That's a good point. You know? That's a good point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's wait a point. My Humanity no, no, saw no, no, a listing no, no. of a Ferengi pool table. Okay, well, I'll we're like, going to need to see that. I do like that. I'm interested. Yeah. Can, can we do, uh, just at some point, put in the back of our head a quick Google of that, I like think. Ferengi pool table? Yes. Ferengi pool table. Because we're not going to do oh, the wait. community show together tomorrow. Well, Elise is going to do it with you. Right, and she she's not going to want to talk about TNG. Yeah. I know. I think you should talk about it she, anyway. She's not going to, but she's not going to want to talk about the Alexander X Luxana Troy episode. I think. And the last appearance of Mr. Holm. I think you can still work it in. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so I'm she's not going to be as receptive. Can you see yeah. the stuff that's for sale, housing wise, or is it rent uh, only on Craigslist? No, there's there's stuff for sale. Go up to the top uh, under housing apartments for rent. Uh, oh, real estate for sale. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Ooh, this is Sioux Falls. This is Sioux Falls, so we might we might want to narrow what's, it down a hair. I don't think we want apartments, condos. We do want cottages. What's the Commodore? Well, well hold on. What's house? the Commodore to the right of your mouse? Or it's this. it's on the left side. What down? Oh. Commodore. I'm gonna want to see that. I just wouldn't want that to get taken away by our our narrowing. I think it's just a trailer home. I think it's on a trailer. Oh, are you trying to look for nightmare stuff? Uh, yes. I mean, this is... we're gonna have to we're gonna have to sort by price. Oh shit! Give me that's a, a double second. wide. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. That's a double. Commodore is a double wide. Uh, I think land, that's, that's really cool. We definitely want to see land. Okay, here we go. You heard about this hot gorilla, right? Charlotte, what do you think? I think you heard about it. That's why yeah, I'm bringing it up. I've heard about the hot gorilla. But have you heard about the virgin mother stingray? No. There is a stingray named Charlotte in an aquarium who has become mysteriously pregnant with cub, ray cubs. Um, and people don't know if it's because two like land sharks impregnated her or if it is her cloning herself and having herself wow. not ha- having herself sounds wrong yeah having herself <laughs> like a jurassic park scenario uh yeah yeah life found a way with charlotte incredible uh any day now charlotte the pregnant stingray draws attention crowds uh from nearby towns so small aquarium in north carolina uh, if anyone here is from hendersonville you got to go see this most bitch. of our chat is. Um, yeah, I think we've got a Henderson heavy chat. Henderson, the Henderson heavies should be what their <laughs> like, at AAA team Henderson is called. <laughs> yes, no, it's just people from there. Shouts out to our uh, Henderson heavies. Um, okay. Yeah, I like this. It's just too just too easy. This is just too easy. All right. Maybe, maybe this is breathtaking good. horse property. Maybe Craigslist isn't the place to look for property. Where were we finding you all also this have good to, property before? You have to sort from low to high. Charlotte, there were 21 listings total. Well, where did you put in? Sioux Falls. I think we went by state. How about we, yeah, let's do South Dakota instead. But let's, I mean, I, and then we sort by price, right? Oh my God, there's yeah, only 30 low to, low to in high. All of South Dakota. Well, then, I, I don't know. Maybe some of the things that you've put in as stipulations are narrowing it down. Quiet Mad atmosphere! Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful views! Let's just see. Okay, so this one's this one's a bust. Yeah, this is, I, this yeah, is a bust. It's fine. It's a home in Davis. Can you see it? 
Now look this, at this. Nice. look at the variety of landscape. <laughs> you could get here with your boys and run around for days and not see each other. Honestly, me and the boys would have so much fun here. There is no laundry on site, but there I've... is off street parking. It's also in Minnesota. <laughs> I, this isn't even in South Dakota. I like under uh, license info where it just says land. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that is that is what it is. But like, it is funny that there's they can't really dress it up. It's not even mm -hmm. like land with a feature on it. It's just Whoa. land. Did you see that it has a 91.2 crop productivity index rating? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Having the ability to provide your crops water and you nutrients just Googled as needed. You just Googled CPI? <laughs> where's this? Where's the tile? It says there's tile. Where? Oh, yeah. Under property features. Uh, oh, probably mm. the bathroom. Yeah, I would assume it's the bathroom. Honestly, like, if the bathroom's on the other side of the field, that's what it would feel like. That's what how we feel when we have to go to the bathroom from our office. It's maybe, a big, big place. Maybe this truck is tiled. On the inside. That'd be cool. Um, Again, this is what a show in compound. South the what a show. The what a show compound is. Uh, it's going to be in what was a church. I think there's not really any other ways about it. Mm -hmm. This one's also. Um, huh. Forty by one ten. Do you see okay. this image? <laughs> yeah, they got the Xbox app open. Uh huh. They, they're probably pretty cool. Oh. Hmm. Are we going to see inside of it? You think this person's <laughs> still alive? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Uh, we are going to see the inside. Uh, right okay. now. The, oh. So this is, the kill, floor. this is the kill floor. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This would not be a bad spot for the What A Show meetup. No, I, this would actually be really good. It's got think, lights already. If you are going to use it as a kill floor, I do think you probably want to add some soundproofing, but it might be pretty far away. So, yeah, I think like, I think you'll be fine. Subscribe. Uh, you know what's that, crazy is we oh, could we could get oh hey yeah, another angle. I like that they don't have, you know, like trivial teas. Like, they, you know, people these days, they want so many things. They want like, you know, heated toilet seats. They want to have USB plugs in the outlets and they want to yeah. have insulation and floors. And mm -hmm. it's honestly like, when did we forget about no frills? Yeah, you don't need a floor. No one wants frills, man. Like, everyone hates frills now. Mill millennials. Everyone's so anti. Gen Z hates frills, they're saying now. This and is I don't even want to talk about what Generation Alpha wants. Would consider trade <laughs> for, <laughs> for something. Or yeah. cash will work, too. But let's return to something. Um, hmm. I mean, we know what it is. I like this. Yeah. Um, so where is this? This is in Fletcher, South Dakota. I think. Or no. Fletcher? What's Fletcher. around there? What What's in Fletcher? There? It's, a, it's moving up. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of green space cemetery drive sal's drive-in buckshots road hey house. cool let's see what buckshots has on the menu big burger oh yeah that's cooked ew what's on that pickle go back Ugh. what is that a pickle what's the it, problem i don't know it's just the texture of it right oh you seem to see another <laughs> angle i <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the height of this one, I'm guessing the other one was from the top down. What's the also ooze a double cheeseburger? That cheese? Double that's definitely mayo and cheese. Oh, no, that's cheese. Yeah, that's cheese. The putting the onions between two enormous like dino patties mm -hmm. is see those pickles. I don't have much of a problem with, but from the side from the side of them, they look like they're they're bread and butter pickles, not kosher dills. Wow, there is like. Oof. I mean, like, why would you want anything else? And you can go to Backshots Roadhouse. Backshots. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, hunters. <laughs> 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 do 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 do. 
<laughs> just throw your pheasants in the garage next door and come on in for a back shot burger. <laughs> Do back shots with the boys after a day of hunting. <laughs> well, that's what's in that hangar. Whoa. Hang on. Yeah. That was a cool. Know. Yeah. Let's see what's over here. This back shot second back shots ancillary. <laughs> this is front shots. <laughs> front shots. What's that in front of it? It's like a, oh, it's probably some farm equipment or something. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of just looking up like like food eateries in in the middle of fucking nowhere. I mean, this is like <laughs> I'm amazed. Is there at... anything else here? <laughs> <laughs> like, look at. <laughs> I see it. I see it. And then if you go in this direction, it's like, I mean, maybe is there something in the distance? Um, there's some properties up there. How is it? But it really all because Backshots is more of a community center. Yeah, Backshots <laughs> is where the the community kind of <laughs> gathers to sort of like they do fundraisers there for their four person school. Wait, mm -hmm. hang on, someone's getting gas at Backshots, but they're not here. But then we <laughs> There's gas? Here. I didn't even realize there was gas at back shots. Look, they're getting this guy's filling I know, up I see it. At back shots. It's filling up. What is that? Is that a two F two fifty or three fifty? Uh hard to That's say. Okay. What? I saw uh, I saw a lot of dualies on the road. I think uh, back shots in broke this country maps. of ours. Oh, no, this is where bad. somebody T boned the Google Maps car. What happened? I don't know. I, I don't know. I must have hit a number. I must have hit the numpad or something. Anyway, this is what we're looking at. Um, the world changes as you, the the further you get from back shots. Back shots, roadhouse, Google Maps show now. Gas changing on Co Road eighty. Mm. Can you go? Can you go under uh, vibe though on the left for back shots? Yes. There it is. Okay, so it's just that one. I mean, they got the vibe. Um, they got the vibe right. Is this is this where people sit or is this the office? No, there's salt shakers. This mm -hmm. is just what it is on the inside. Yeah, this is back shots. Jesus Christ. Travis Bournes took that photo. <sighs> it's. I know people live in places like this, but. Hang on, look at Oof. this. Okay, this is Letcher. I feel like we probably saw most of it. So back shots is down. We didn't here. go to Sal's drive-in. We didn't well, go to Sal's drive-in. See, <laughs> yeah, agriculture. What's down there? What's that? Is that Mitchell? Yeah, I actually think I might have. Oh, Mitchell is where they have the corn palace. The corn palace is a thing that's very important to South Dakota people. <laughs> I've learned. <laughs> um, they really, uh -huh. really enjoyed their corn palace. Uh, I don't understand it. Never been. Probably never will. Sarah B is saying, take Charlotte to the Corn Palace. That's not my job anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Charlotte has to take uh, herself to Corn Palace, isn't it? What is oh, I got, I, got, I got really petty on the Funhouse stream yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, and it was about Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Okay. <laughs> uh, what happened? So it's. I just want to check. Is Kenneth here by any chance? I'm. I'm assuming probably not. Um, Here's Sal's. By he, the way, I said the thing. No. <laughs> no, dude. Is there pictures of the inside? Can we click on that? Okay. Oh, you just. All right. They got all kinds of stuff. We got to see the food though. They got. Oh, I bet the fish here is really good. The fish yeah. is definitely excellent. Well, it's, it's fresh water. That's Could it. Could be a trout. This is it. Could be like a trout salad. By the way, I know these places. I grew up with places like this. They kind of, they usually kind of rock. As scary as I mean, it looks from. Yeah, I mean, like, because you gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta do more. 
but this is a this is a community that one that like one dog could probably come in and decimate and then it would never recover yeah 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 here's the bank like one like yeah oh gosh core trust is this a liquor store oh it's jake's lounge hey jake's, jake's lounge let's get in there why wasn't this why couldn't we see this before Okay, this this place like it's not a place that I personally would want to click on the sushi picture. <laughs> yeah, it's the smallest one of wasabi I've ever seen. <laughs> a little, not <laughs> such a big plate. Do they sell sushi here, or did someone just bring that? Well, no, you can, if you don't get the sushi, they got they a good sell? fifteen dollars gizzard or testicles. So you, ma- can you get you can, uh, can I get a gizzard with some testicles and yeah is the mountain oyster like the prairie oyster? I think yeah I think it's a I'm pretty sure maybe I'm wrong but I, I can think see it's I'm a big, sure big pheasant town. I'm seeing a co- bunch of different fe- pheasant cutouts. Yeah, it, this is definitely um, a pheasant hunting place because that's what the photos were on back shots too was pheasant. Yeah, no pheasant. Oh, I love Jesus, but I drink a little. <laughs> what is that a saying does that make sense let's look it up i bet there's a shirt um anyway yesterday yeah i was talking about how Steve larson uh just decided for the second book that he was gonna make lizbeth salander just have big tits oh yeah there's there's a lot of that it's something from the um Ellen show specifically ugh. gladys from oh, austin man. how do i send a message to Ellen DeGeneres? Uh, her official site. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the picture they used? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, let's get in. Yes, oh, I saw a in. thing. It was, I saw a thing that was like um, AI videos ju- that just, it just is a voice that reads off their Wikipedia and. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calls it, what is X's uh, net worth? And like, they're all like, have 17 views. Uh, I don't even know what they're hoping to get at. Anyway. Um, I, I was, I was saying that the, that uh, it's funny when the uh, writer basically is like, this character sucks. I need to make them cool and hot. And so did that. And then, uh, a chatter was like, um, actually that's not what happened. And you know, nothing about what was going through the writer's head when it happened. And so I said, all right, you know what? And then James and I kind of clowned on them a little bit. And then they were like, why is everyone piling on, on me? Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> Do you feel bad? No, I guess confused. Really. Yeah. It anyway, a little confused you're going to like this. Comes because in doesn't quite get it. Go ahead. My name's, my name's on the name of the stream, and I don't want that forgotten. This is Charlotte Watch. Yeah? Okay? What are you talking about? Yeah? No, act like, no, act, no, act like it. Yeah, act what like the it. fuck are you talking about? Anyway, um, J- <laughs> James and I started doing bits about, like, because they got they got mad. They were like, you don't know what you're talking about. And you don't know what he was talking about. And then like we were James and I were doing like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to be chill today. But if somebody brings up the girl who played with fire, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> and like then they're like, oh, I made two comments. And now Charlotte won't let go of it. And now James is piling on. But I'm the asshole. And so I was like, all right, you know what? I, I don't need this. And I had other stuff like going on yesterday, not okay. related to work that I had to deal with. So I was just like. Uh, I'm going to go at it. I'm just going to do something else. And so I go to the bathroom and then in the bathroom, I look up the passage from the book that I was thinking of, realized mm-hmm. I was right, ran back to the stream room. <laughs> and I was like, I just want to get back on mic real quick and just kind of set the record straight with Kenneth and then read the record from the book. And then also mentioned that David Fincher made a point of saying like, yeah, that was fucking weird <laughs> that he did that. And I was like, yeah, so I just want to make sure that you know that uh, I was right. And um, good. Good, good. Yeah, I was I was pretty really fired good. up. And it, when I went did the quick Google and I was like, I am right. Um, he is a member. Um, so I do hope he continues to be a member. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I did also drop the mic, but it was on a couch because I'm considerate. But like literally it was just I, I was like, I'm not going to forget that. I'm not going to let uh, no. some dumbass. I'm sure you <laughs> No, it was. I think you would have enjoyed it if you were there. It's because you know it's it's nice to take uh, take people to task, even if they are people that are directly supporting us. <laughs> it's Can like I, that guy that bought a shitload of subs a couple of years ago, and then yeah, we had I don't the band. Know what that was about? Can I 
to show you something? Yeah. Because you're always telling me. Yeah, is it about contact to, being a celebrity? I have to get in contact with Katy Perry immediately. And it's all you talk about for six months. You're talking about, I have to yeah. get in contact with her. I have to talk to her. I have right. something she needs to hear. So I can get in touch with Rick Caruso. I think, well, hang on. Because now you can. Oh, okay. Oh. How many agents, managers, and publicists? It's so fast. How me. many entertainment companies? Oh, yeah, wait, they do, post, they do postage refunds? It's not really uh, l moving at the right. No, it's really. It keeps like. What freezing. am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? I don't know. I don't. Oh, that's happening for me too. Why do you look like a Scientology ad? There's still like 20 seconds left. Contact anycelebrity.com. What was that red symbol on the ground? Like, where did that come from? I feel like I'm cursed now. I don't. You might be. Um, you might be. Hang on, they have four point two. Stars. What was that player too? I feel like that's something that they would have used, like the the proprietary crack dot com video player. <laughs> uh, yes, Natalie, I I agree a hundred percent. Just a fucking weirdo. It was an opinion about breasts. It, yeah, well, it was. I was talking about like just a weird choice that a male writer made, and I basically implied I was like, it's not weird that a character would do that because, like, you know, sure, if a woman is, you know, wants to get her boobs done, then I very much co-sign that. I'm like, yeah, go yeah. for it, do you? Um, but this guy, he was like, uh, first of all, she does that as a ruse in the first book to fool investors, and you have no idea what was going through his head. Okay, he hang on that. a second. And I was That's like, a terrible ruse. I was like, he's dead. I'm sorry, but if you're a detective. <laughs> I don't, there's no detective on earth who sees someone with an entirely different face but the same sized boobs and is like no not a detective investors and also it's a whole disguise it's a whole disguise yeah, yeah but either way i feel like you that does happen do in the first part. book I but the second book is it talking part. about her insecurities of being it's it's just like an old swedish guy being like wouldn't it be cool if a woman had like a big rack what's wait what's wrong with that nothing oh. i mean like <laughs> Uh, I mean, a lot, but nothing. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, hunters! Hey, 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 speaking of a big rack. Because the deer, right? Because the deer, that's yeah. what they call it. That's right. what they say. So a buck, It's not actually you know? offensive. It's not offensive, and I, and I can say that. I didn't think it was. So. I didn't think it was. So back I off. I didn't think it was. Back off. Stand down. Okay. okay. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come for you, and, okay. I'm, and I'm never gonna relent. I'm gonna I have a set of, I have a set of skills, okay. like really awesome what skills that you're gonna not like. Uh, you're right. I don't like clowning. <laughs> Is there anything else here in uh, Corn Town or wherever I mean, the I'm fuck curious we are? What happens in this mess or this mess? <laughs> it must be the oldest part of the town before the idea of a grid system was introduced. Map. Google Maps has not been here. I'm still getting over the fact that probably private property. Then it's probably just somebody's like ranch that's technically part of the incorporated, or maybe not even incorporated town. Letcher Lake. Bad things definitely happen there. What's this? Um, just like click click restaurants at the top, and we'll just zoom out, and we're gonna find more Jakes uh, at the top. Yeah. yeah. So it's just back shots. So we got spouse. Back shots, yeah. When you get sick of, when you get sick of back shots, you can head over to search. The, search this area again. Wow, old An incredible whites. amount of places. We got old whites driving up here. What's that? Does it say Wooney Foods? Long Branch Lounge. Oh, you know what we should do? What? You know, I'm curious about. Let's look at some of the bars that I used to get drunk at in Montana, real quick. Okay. I think, I think this was the name of one of them. Let me see if this is it. The Alto. I get the names all mixed up. I think you drank it was it was a gay bar called Jeggings. Me? Right? Uh, you I told me get... a lot about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, yeah, no, 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 you no, said no. it was called Jeggings. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, she's not. No, I didn't no, go no, to Jiggies. No, 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 no. Where are we? Uh, Helena, Montana. I lost my my uh, car Virginity. in this ATM. Oh. No, 
I lost my card in this ATM whilst blackout drunk on many, many occasions, and I have to go back the next day and be like, yeah, okay, I did cool. it. yeah, I did it again. <laughs> Guess who's back, <laughs> motherfuckers? Um, Nothing's wrong with gay bars, Y2K. I'm gay. I, it's... <laughs> But Patrick probably didn't hang out at one and get shit faced. This, this was that younger was the, days. That was the joke. Um, <laughs> She's standing very properly. I did went. I, uh, I went into a gay bar in yeah. Minneapolis and just like instantly got groped. I mean, I was like still walking in, through <laughs> the doorway. I would say it was like split oh, second. Um. Okay. I think oh, it's in. Uh, the Congo Club is in Mitchell. So if we wanted to go back to Mitchell and check out the Congo Club after this, that might be cool. I'm curious to see it personally. I think this is it. Yeah, this is. I it. think we this should like for sure. We should. Yeah. Yeah. So I've talked about this place. It was like a fun it, spot. It was so. I mean, funny. It, looks like, it was so funny to me yeah. because I was I had just come from Minneapolis, which had a lot of dive bars or sorry, like revamped, very pretty expensive bars that were desperately trying to be dive bars for like a hip, hipster kind of audience. Right. And this yeah. was the opposite. This was just a shithole that so yeah. badly wanted to be like a cool hipster place, but it just couldn't pull it off. Um, I <laughs> Which saw... kind of seems endearing actually. Oh, they do foam. Maybe it is a gay bar now. They got foam. Um, yeah, I told you it's called jeggings. This isn't jeggings. It's Rialto. They got a rainbow. You also drank at another place called American Eagle. <laughs> I actually used to walk what by one. Of, I used to walk by one oh, of those. Like, I know. I used to walk and by those an American Eagle all the time in uh, really Minneapolis. Yeah. See all the leather yeah, daddies American hanging Eagle. outside. Did they do that? I thought that was just like Hollister. Oh no, there was what a gay bar mushroom? called. Oh, there, or no, it was the gay bar was the Eagle. Sorry. Oh, the Eagle. Yeah. You'd walk by and there'd be leather daddies all over the place. Okay, so this is what I was interested in, is you can gamble in bars. Exit, Paps Blue Ribs. And no, 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 the slot that's... machines. You can gamble in the bars. It's... You can do this in South Dakota, too. It's... Hang on, go back. This? I see that cool guy hanging out with his gin and tonic. Yeah. It's pretty Hell sick, yeah, man. Right? Beat up. He looks like he's laying on his back between two chairs. You want to put any bets in? Hmm. You know I do. You know I wish I could jump through this screen. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh cool. Is that one lamp? <laughs> I don't wanna oh. I don't wanna just focus on photos of people, but wait, is this a gay bar now? Did you like a drag? I mean it seems at least LGBT friendly. Which all I assure you. It was not when I was going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we used to go to this place. Yeah, no, a dive, bar, a dive bar should be a sink so close to a urinal yeah. that a man's pissing on your hands. There is a scary one. There is a scary one called Jester's. <laughs> <laughs> this, place, this, uh, this place had signs that were like, the government took your rights away, so now you can't smoke indoors. <laughs> Wow. There was like, there were giant cages where you could buy liquor. And I, I had a coworker who would come Whoa. hang out here because you could smoke outside in that patio. That was the only reason <laughs> he would come here. <laughs> Look at this place. Can we see if there's any... Um, haunting. Are there any uh, Yelp reviews for Jesters? Yeah, let me check. Because Yelp reviews are always better than Google reviews. I just want to see if you can see the like giant cages full of alcohol. Because... Liquor and all this stuff in Montana works so strange and differently. Like you, uh, bars are just liquor stores. So you can go into a bar and buy like a, that's anything so strange. you want. And it's like, I think a lot of places it's not that. Why is everyone taking photos on this fucking chair? Where is this? This is all in Helena, Montana, which is actually a very nice, uh, yeah, no, it, lo it looks nice. It's a nice downtown. It's a really beautiful area. city. Um, kind of a college town a little bit. But not, not, I don't know, but damn, I haven't been here in, I lived here when I was 21, no, yeah, I turned 21 here. This place, is this it? Um, is this the sandwich place? Hang on, I have to show you the most fucked up sandwich you've ever seen in your life. 
Jester's is number six out of eight nightlife in Helena. Can can you please look at this fucked up sandwich? What the fuck? They hollow that? out like a roll. This is a round single piece of bread stuffed full of stuff. Huh. So it's like a. So if, if like a wrap is like a wider burrito, they've somehow taken that a step further. It's ooh. It's definitely just a sandwich. Like, yeah, oh my but it's God. like a wrap. <laughs> the fuck is hey, this? Take that off the screen. I don't want to look at whatever that is. <laughs> That's just raw. Is that just those are onions? And is that mushrooms? Basically raw. Ew, dude, get that off the all screen. Right, fine. <laughs> That's way better. Thank you. The blueberries. God. Oh, no, those are olives. This is so upsetting. What is this called? What Pizzas. is this dish called? They do pizza. So their whole thing is like bread like this then. Yes. This was like a spot when I lived here. This was like people would go here as like a cool treat. It was like a fun place. Um, and I will say as gross as the sandwiches look, I remember them being like fine. But also I think the whole time you're eating it, you're like, why isn't this just a regular sandwich? This doesn't like this shape does not add anything. It to, seems like they, they thought gimmick. they were they thought they were cooking, right? For they sure. were like, I'm, For uh, sure. we have a new kind of thing. We have a new yeah. delivery system yeah. for sandwiches. And it's like it's modular. You know, they can stack it as high as they want. If it's two or three stacks, it's a deep dish pizza that looks like it's filled with just just a fucking nightmare. Mm -hmm. Um Wow. All right. I was looking up TripAdvisor reviews for the Jester, and I didn't really find anything fun. Just someone saying that there was a meth lab busted on the second floor. <laughs> but um, nothing fun. No. <laughs> Jester's is, this is one star. Just, just Jester's the, is where just the, the felons, hardcore drug addicts. <laughs> Jester's, Jester's is where the felons, hardcore drug addicts, bar fights, and generally nasty types like to yes. swill. Yes. Years ago, a huge meth lab was dismantled and hauled away from the second floor of this building. That should pretty much sum up the joint, which is ironically only one block away from the jail. Stay away unless you're a meth zombie. Which there's plenty of in Montana. Okay. I assure you. Um, and then another one that just says, uh, our friend Tooks to this bar. Good place for locals to hang out. Nothing fancy, but that's not what counts. The have an outdoor patio, a stage for music. There's not a lot of okay. bars that I've gone into and been like, I think I need to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> but that was one of them. And it wasn't like... <laughs> it was definitely like a pretty intense, kind of like methy crowd. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. It was a good time. Yeah, it sounds like a ball. There was another like All right. uh, Irish one that we'd go to that had even more gambling machines. Okay, what are we on now? We're still on South Dakota real estate. I don't know if we need. Yeah, I'm gonna look at. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what I can find. Is there a state that's more depressing than South Dakota? West Virginia, Mississippi. Um, West Virginia parts, at least has like Ohio. beautiful vistas. Definitely yeah. parts of Ohio. Yeah. But I think I think oh, the sprawling oh. nature. Oh, Indiana. What's that bar in? What's that Indiana. bar in Mitchell? But what was that bar in Mitchell oh, the, that the corn uh, Sarah's palace? talking about? No, it wasn't the Corn Palace. Who was telling you about this? Someone was talking about Mitchell in the chat. Oh, in the chat. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got to get back to Helena. Check it out. Maybe go skiing. Or yeah, we got to go to Jester's. We should. We should go to Jester's. Yeah, I feel like that would be a really good place for me to be. I think it'd be fine. I think you'd be mm. just fine. The Congo Club. Okay. There's a the Congo Club is a gentleman's club. In, Hang on, sorry. Is this the one? I'm assuming there's multiples. Are you single and looking for true love? This is in Hennepin County, though. This has been a no. This is it. No, sorry, I'm looking at wow. something else. Um, Congo Club, the area's most popular gentleman's club. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, that. Monday through Saturday, we put on a fun show that includes a rotation of our gorgeous ladies who keep your attention with their seductive dance moves. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean that's what a yeah, full bar game room. So you can play darts or you know, free camping. 
Spend the night at the Congo Club in your RV or tent. We offer Jesus free camping Christ. in our parking lot for your convenience. Pretty cool. And they have a shuttle service. So if you need a ride to the Congo Club, they'll pick you up. This is, so this is the Corn Palace, and I don't really know much else about it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm searching for restaurants in... Um, I want to look. I want to go to restaurants South Dakota, and I'm going to put the rating at uh, two stars. Uh, off, so I want uh, at least two stars. Yeah, let's see. Um, oh, it's not. It doesn't stop it out at two stars though. This is. It's not giving me many stipulations. Hmm. No, this isn't doing it for me. Yeah, no. Damn. I really thought I was onto something here. Maybe Yelp. I was muted. Jesus Christ. I've been muted for like 10 minutes and you didn't even notice. Yeah, how would I? <laughs> you just were... Perfectly content talking to yourself. <laughs> I thought you were listening to me. For that long? I thought you were... It was not ten minutes. It's about ten. It was like three. No one in the chat even noticed. Can I... Can I quit? That's yeah. bad. That's can worse. I, can I show you a place of wonder and merriment from my childhood? Yeah, you may. All right, we'll just look at the shared... <laughs> Um, this I'm seeing a slide. Oh, a mushroom uh, fountain. Yeah. Those are great. So Love those. Is, so this is the mainstay suites in Bismarck, North Dakota. And as you can see, what sets it yeah. apart from other hotels in the Bismarck area, in the Bismarck, North Dakota area, is you can see the water slide there, right? Yeah. Uh, that's what it is that sets it apart. That's what sets it apart. So how do you yeah. get up there? Is it like a stairs? I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Look at Stop. the gym. It's, Look at the gym. Trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. It's that Look at the little uh oh, I thought that was a TV, the wipe dispenser. I thought it was a oh, tiny yeah. TV you could like stand in front of the elliptical machine. Dude, I have st I stayed in some fucking off-putting places over the past weekend. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I went to this, we went to this one, I went to Eugene, Oregon, between Portland and Sacramento. And um, let me tell you, Eugene was not putting its best foot forward that night because we got there at two and um, my bandmate was like, there's no parking spots at the motel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So then we're unloading in the rain in like the smallest spot we could find. And there, are, there's just night people. There's people just walking around. And some of them mm -hmm. are clearly homeless. And they're just kind of like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, yep. okay. But the more the more off-putting ones were the people that were just like didn't seem like they were really down on their luck, but they were just out, just walking around. Yeah. It was it was rough. Uh I did go the next day though to a great biscuit place. So that that was good. So thank you, Eugene, for all the hospitality. But who who boy, it was it was bad. <laughs> um, and then uh the room was uh like Seahawks colors. It was like white, navy blue, and a bright lime green. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty cool. I don't I don't I don't understand why Yelp should won't we have, let me sort by lowest first. Should we have what a show con in Bismarck, North Dakota? Make us do what in should we should we host? Oh, what, what a show con! What a show con! Yeah, we, sh we should Bismarck, do that. North we should Dakota. do that. Yeah, uh, I think that would be a great idea. Um, all right, I'm I'm pulling up some places in. I'm actually I'm, I'm down to I'm down to move to Oregon, if. If I, I mean, if the best need, part is we just need the work. The work, you know, is the is the trouble. yeah. The best part is that they have to serve food where they serve liquor. I mean, that's one of the most incredible laws that's yeah, ever been conceived. Most places of. also do that. 
That isn't uncommon. Right, but they don't, but they but they don't have to. Okay, but it's not uncommon. Again, it's not uncommon. But they I don't, can, but they don't I can, have. I can point you to. A strip, I know this. I can point you to a strip club in Minnesota that has all you can eat hot dogs. And I can point you to. I mean, I yes, we'll talk. Okay. But I can point you to a. Pl- I can point you to many places in LA. It's a bar that only has chips. They have bags of chips, and then they just serve beer. I would say maybe just don't go to that bar, or just go to a I restaurant don't. that also sells alcohol and is open late. It's a good right? spot to play. Uh, what? Huh. You just go to a huh? restaurant that's open late and sells booze. You're you're um you're muted. No, I'm not, and I won't fall you're for muted. this. I'm not gonna fall for this. <laughs> All right, I, hold on. I just picked up a two star review of Cattleman's um Where's Club that? Steakhouse in Mitchell. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, 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 service is terrible. Not seeing a really fun one. Worst service ever. I waited 10 minutes for a waitress. She took my order, then 30 minutes later, still no salad. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, um, I have a quick question for you. Yeah. Have, have you spent much time in Dickinson, North Dakota? You know what? I haven't. So it's a few hours past. It's like an hour or two beyond Bismarck. Maybe even more. I don't actually remember. Um and then if if you go down the if you go down ninety four you'll eventually hit Medora where I lived and worked briefly but then you quickly hit Montana after passing through Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Uh-huh. However, Dickinson, North Dakota, has a beautiful Chinese buffet called uh-huh. called King Buffet, which I have eaten at, as you can imagine. Um, look at this. Oh, look at all that fruit. In sauce. Yeah. No, it's looking See that great. Fruit and sauce. Yeah. Some this mushrooms. is what culture was for, for many Americans. This is the, the closest you could get to what is that? Is that a giant wonton? <laughs> or is this forced perspective? I don't know. That was lo mein looked like worms. Look at those Ooh, muscles. muscles. Yeah, okay. And let Straight me out of the lake. And Dickinson, uh so so far from any ocean. Or airport is the other thing. It's not even close to an airport. I wonder oh, if they still God. they had they had octopus when I went, which was like the most shocking looking. <laughs> oh my God! Sorry, I'm just looking at a picture of uh, the chili fries from Zesto in Mitchell, South Dakota. Oh, they look good. It's, uh, no. Ew. Is Mitchell one of the like oil boom towns? I have no idea. It seems to be an ice cream place that also has like weird chili. What is this? I got red ice cream. Oh no, that's a dip. Maybe a straw cherry dip top. These crawf crawfish as prawns, dude. No, right? Crawfish. Oh, okay, cool. Here we go. Okay, so Zestos rocks, I'm hearing. I think we're pro Zestos. Okay. We love Zesto. The two are two love Zestos, yeah. so that Zestos rules. The problem is that most of the reviews, most bad reviews are based on service. Yes. Uh, well, have you heard the theory of Chinese restaurants? Uh, what is that? I mean, I, I mean, just, I know uh, what a Chinese restaurant is. What's the theory? No, um, I think it it might extend to kind of Asian restaurants, but I, I've heard like Asian people on Twitter say this that like a three point five is the best rating you can have for like a mm-hmm. Chinese restaurant. Not not that like you can't have five star ones, but that a three point five is the sweet spot where the food is really really good and like authentic or whatever, but the service is really bad yeah in a way that is also authentic it sounds like from what i'm reading but like (laughs) people who aren't familiar with that get really upset and it's not like i don't think it's bad it's just not like the customer is always right type of stuff you know so like yes a lot of white people will go there and get really offended and upset but it's one of our favorite is great. so it knocks the score down because they give it a, a lower rating. But the but uh, yeah, this is I've just seen this. 
So everyone's pro Zestos. Oh. All right, I I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I didn't know about Zestos. I, I'm just learning about Zestos. Is it a chain? Um, it seems like yeah, because someone said that the Brookings Zestos was better than the Mitchell Zestos. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Do we want to look at more houses? The Grub Tub. Hang on, yeah. Let's get in there. That place looks good. Do dating, dating, dating. Go 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 grub to the tub. What is that? Ravioli? Is that like a, nuts and bacon? That's cashew chicken uh, with... Yeah, that, is that bacon? A day day. It's a hamburger salad. <laughs> I had a hamburger salad. What is happening here? It's an eggplant parmesan. Get a grub tub style. You want it tubbed. This is, this is shrimp on a bed of urinal ice. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. What is that? This? Ew. It's like a I, custard. You know what? I bet this is actually pretty good. It kind of looks like it's some sort of... I mean, it looks like it's been out too long, maybe. But, like, yeah, it looks like a custardy <laughs> raspberry thing. I'm I'm, into, yeah. I'm interested in this. <laughs> I mean, I just had uh, some flan the other night, and it was great. Um, is that fruit <laughs> or is it beans? This is... A, this I think is it's very, the inside of a guy's stomach. <laughs> this is various fats in gelatin. You didn't even hear me. You didn't even hear me. I can hear you. I said this is various fats, assorted fats and gelatin. Ugh. Mmm. Oh, that's Christ. pretty good, right? That... What do they do? That's kale, I think. And is that Ugh, God. Why is this place see that's the thing is I should be I shouldn't be looking for low rated places. I should be looking for the middle of nowhere where things are rated like four point seven like this. Yeah. I mean popular dish, huh? The Midwestern mind is not is certainly not an the, easy like... not an easy one to crack. Uh <laughs> no. this, I mean I, Cheddar kale not, soup? I don't look at this and think, mmm. Certainly. But it's gross. It's gross. Wait, go back. Uh, never mind. You know what? Never mind. Just, you wanted to see uh, this? What is with these images? Like, not even... <laughs> they just pop into the corner. I mean, that, that looks like some kind of chowder. I would get down with that. Okay, we're seeing to look up bunions in vermilion. Vermilion's a place I'm aware like, of. Everything like a, being offered is just seems so ambitious. Just so much. so big a menu. Just focus on the basics. Like yeah. that weird custard, which might actually be very good. Here's bunions. Yeah. This is in vermilion, which is vermilion. Vermilion's known for something, right? Good night, Driftless. <laughs> Hell if I know. Well, I'm not asking you. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with this? This is, a, this is a really interesting photo. You think that's good? <laughs> <laughs> Gross. How does that even happen? What do you mean? See if they had the the what was that something ox before was the other sandwich Whoa. place? They had that weird bread. This is a, a this is a low carb patty melt. I this think. is this, this is. Oh, it's American cheese. I thought it was mustard. <laughs> oh, there's a Slipknot song called Vermilion. <clears throat> Well, there's a lot of vermilions. I grew up going to a lake vermilion that's unrelated. There we go. Oh my god, that's got to be like a kid's meal, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's worse that it's a kid's meal. <laughs> <clears throat> this place actually looks pretty good now. What's this place called? Mort Marine? Bunions. Mort in Marine? No, in vermilion. It's bunions. Come on. Well, then what's bunions. behind him? What was behind that guy? Oh, he's outside of a different restaurant. He just uploaded the wrong oh. photo, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seeing so many pictures of his grandmother. <laughs> 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 Wait, that's got to be like a test review. He's like, so good, I ate it all. Uh, Look at that. You... Not a spot on those khakis. No, crisp. Crisp, crisp. khakis. 
just pressed. I have no idea. Oh what I'm at. man, that's fish. That's fried fish, right? Oh, you're right. You're right. Like you're right. Fried tilapia. Yeah, you're right. Might actually be good. Might actually be really good. No, it's probably if it's walleye. If it's could be walleye. Yeah. Very delicious. Very good. Go. Hold on. What is on the top of that burger? Go back up. This one. Just a little mustard. What the fuck? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> is is that a garnish? That's sick. It looks like something inside. It's like bile. And what? The patties are so round. How is this even enjoyable to eat? It makes me mad and hungry. I actually, I would, I would, I would get down with that, but only if it had no buns, no cheese, no mustard, and was kind of just like loosely cut up with some fries. Then Mm -hmm. maybe we could talk. You know, what is chislick? Someone keeps saying chislick. What is that? Is it a fish? That's what I was wondering. Day, 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 day. What's just chis like? <laughs> There's a really funny, like, awful, sloppy party bar at this cabin my friend had that we used to go to sometimes, but I'm not going to ever. In a million years, I would not remember the name of the lake, the town, or the bar. <laughs> All right, let's go somewhere in Wyoming. See what's out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one star. Wait, what's the one review of Jackham Chemicals? What's the one review of Jankum Chemicals? The address of this establishment is not very clear on GPS search engines. Note that driving from too far and not finding the address, it's exhausting. That's the only review. And they make jankum here? They make jankum here, yeah. They make the, this is the jankum factory. <laughs> yeah. And you, they, the kids were just sniffing jankum, right? They weren't drinking it. No one was ever doing anything with it, I believe. No, but it was real. I mean, we can admit that, right? It was. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on. We need to find paintbrush it. like that uh, production company. Oh, there wasn't a single. What? That's not where I want to be. No. How about here? Google Maps thinks that we want to look for things like in a city we live in. Okay. Okay. I, I can't really see what's going on here, but. Oh, ding, 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 Where are we in Gardenia? Why are we in Gardenia? Yeah, this is, um, do you, th- you think this is California? Oh, it said at the top left. I can't really see where we are. This isn't even the U.S. <laughs> oh, are we in Mexico? Yeah. Down in old day, day, Mexico. Day, 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 day. Day, 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 day. <clears throat> Do we want to go back and look at houses? Yes, yes. Yeah, sorry, I, I got distracted because I just clicked no, on Mexico. No, it's totally cool. It's totally cool, you know. Hang on, yeah, just one second. Day, day, yeah, day, yeah. day, 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 day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's check out what's around the river there. <laughs> hang on, yeah, sorry, hang on one second. Day, 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 day. <laughs> day, day, day. <laughs> Damn it, I can't. Is there a street view down there? No. I mean, I meant where here you were go. clicking, not here generally. Go. Got it. There's got a street view here. Hang on, got it. Day, 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 Let's see. I'm gonna go to Mexico. Cheese leak. Still not super clear on what that is. Cheese leak is a dish consisting of skewered cubes of red meat, usually mutton or lamb. Though game might game meats such as venison and even beefsteak can be used. Most commonly associated with the state of South Dakota, Chislik was declared the official nosh in March 2018. Is it seasoned specially or is it just cubes of meat? I mean it's South Dakota. I would not be surprised if it was just cubes of meat. So it's 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 des- it's derived from uh, etymologically from the same roots as shish kebab. But this okay. is just one square of meat on one toothpick. I see. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Um... So it's ranch and meat cubes. I mean, that sounds yeah. pretty. I mean, that sounds fine. That's oh, they're fine. deep fried. Yeah. Well, now we're talking. Garlic salt, seasoned salt, served with toothpicks, soda crackers. Yeah, I mean, I would eat the fuck out of this. So in yeah. pure, which that's how you pronounce that, yes? That's correct. The meat is battered. Sioux Falls, it's lightly dusted with flour before deep frying. Might be served mm -hmm. with hot sauce. Near Watertown, ranch dressing may be served on the side, while Lowry's seasoned salt is preferred near Redfield. Oh, here we go. Look, I'm on, so here we are on TravelSouthDakota.com. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at it was in the it was in the uh, South Dakota legislature. Le oh. Legislature. It is official state uh, fair. This is a taste of South Dakota's favorite foods. So here it is, Chislick. Yeah, the official nosh. That's huge for Kishlik. Kuchen. Okay, Kuchen. hang on a second. Hang on a second. So Kuchen is something that I. You're a big Kuchen with. guy. Well, it's something I grew up with, but it's it's not a real. Like, because kuchen means cake, but this type of kuchen that I'm thinking of, like, doesn't actually exist. It's, like, spe very specific to a very, to a, uh, to a German immigrant, like, to German immigrant groups in North Dakota. And probably South Dakota, too, I imagine. So I wonder if it's the same thing, because it's, I love it. It's, like, it's such a good, it's a, this custard dessert thing, and it's so fucking good. Um, and as far as I can tell, it only exists in these two states. We gotta. Yeah. We gotta I wonder go. if it's like the same thing here, but we gotta go back to looking at nightmare food because now I'm getting hungry. I know, but hang I on. need to. I need to ruin my appetite. I want to see South Dakota cook and see how they do it. I'm gonna go get another cookie. If you're gonna keep acting like this. Okay, this is it. Ooh, that does look good. So it's like a bready kind of cake. It's very simple. It's very very simple. It's just um yeah. It's like a thin kind of dough underneath and then like a custard filling uh it is really really good with like cinnamon and stuff but it, it's super simple like i'm yeah but it's awesome that sounds really good. good as hell yeah i oh, wait okay well let's hear about this new jersey sugar drink go ahead Oh, I had an interesting drink today that I want to tell you about, but I do want to hear about this. Yeah, it says it's a specific part of New Jersey that has. No, it's not like a Dutch baby. Not at all, really. Um, well, I guess it's... Oh, wait, no, I was thinking of something else. It's kind kind of Dutch baby, boost? but the inside is definitely like a custard. Wow. Boost. You got to look up Boost, Boost New Jersey. Up. Boost with the exclamation point. Like, surge! There it is. Oh, hang on, this is a... Find your nearest oh, New Jersey yeah. store. Oh, oh here we go. Okay, this is it. I found it. That's... <laughs> wow. So it's not as local as you made it sound. It does look expensive, though, for a drink. Um, Get the $40? We only oh. need 5 gigabytes a month. And we do want to add Toto, Toto Mexico Plus. And probably <laughs> not get text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably want the police. When do I, just I get don't understand the how drink? gigabytes relates to like ounces, you know? I don't know. That's so strange. So this is a rare New Jersey drink. It's a concentrated ben blend Fonts of citrus. Drink. Oh, Ben Fonts. <laughs> Who the fuck is Ben? Like, is that supposed to mean anything? Oh, he's an, oh, the he's American, a oh, oh, a drugstore. It was Ben Fonts, the American druggist. I didn't understand because I just hear that name and my head goes to all these other Ben Fonts's. But now that they narrowed it down, it's the, the American druggist, Ben Fonts. He, he set out to create a soft drink without bubbles. Why? What's wrong with you? Yeah, what? And around 1910, invented a drink which he called Takaboost. Hang on. Uh-oh. You think I didn't see that? You think Wee I didn't see that? Weep, weep. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Um, I mean, he sounds like lame as fuck. Oh, um, we have three sons. Fantastic. Known for yeah, inventing you're... boost. Boost. <laughs> well, you mean tack a boost? Tack a boost. I mean, what, is, what is that? They the way they named things was crazy. So it's just 
bad juice or like okay i guess it's like a soda juice was believed to overcome anesthetic and calm nausea that's so I'm, cool i'm sure it all, did. wait hang list on of regional beverages in the united states we might have to look through that hang on a second during world war ii it was shipped oh. to military personnel after the death of fonts in 1949 family members could not agree on the way the company was handled one faction broke away and established the drink a toast company which sold a similar product tack boost unsuccessfully sued drink a toast over formulas and became bankrupt in 1957 drink a toast subsequently acquired the trademarks and formulas so this is like when you had the actual soda wars like the the cola wars between coke and pepsi there were these minor minor like land grabs like scuffles happening uh, almost like maybe they were like proxy wars. Maybe like Coke and Pepsi were each like heavily investing in Taka Boost and fucking what's the other one called? Hang Boost on. a, a toast, Doga toast. Oh, Taka Taka drink, Taka Boost. Taka drink boost. a toast. Drink a toast. Someone, the person who brought it up, Waluigi, said they teach this in schools in Riverside, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I, I, okay, and it looks like Drink a Toast is the one that actually like won was a success yeah but i think they got that well i think when the other one went bankrupt they got the trade oh boost so. was granted a temporary restraining order against food and drink company mead johnson what why maybe maybe because it was acquired by wreck at ben kisser maybe that's why well, I, I mean as long as people understand that it's ben fonts's drink since 1913 I think they yeah. do. I think they do. I had I had a soft drink today, Patrick. You had a soft drink. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Taka Boost Ooh. is under construction. But well, it's because it's called Boost now, right? Well, the website it's is still boost. Taka Boost. I just imagine this guy going around to all his other like druggists who were probably still putting Coke, like mm-hmm. Coca Leaf, in Coca Cola, and being like, "I did it. I made a soda without bubbles." And everyone's like, "Cool, Ben." Um, okay, Ben. Yeah. That's awesome, Ben. That's really cool. Um, I had something called Mr. Q Cumber. It was a cucumber soda. Okay. And it was delicious. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I got That's nothing fine. else to really say about it. Yeah, yeah but I'd never had it. I'd never had it before. And this was it was a weird little drink at a sandwich place. Mm-hmm. It was incredible. It was I had it was so refreshing, you know, delicious. I know it's not too wild, Drea. I'm just talking about an experience I had. I'm very, I'm very, very fascinated with this uh, Waluigi character's stories about uh, Boost. Because <laughs> apparently <laughs> they're saying that there was a city, the city that it was made in used to have a restaurant that only served Boost products. Well, also saying that it was right around the corner from the place that all the official baseball mud comes from. I saw that too. I, I forgot about it. But yes, you're right. <laughs> Hang on. Can we look up baseball mud? Yes, we can. Official baseball mud? Yeah, let me just pop that in parentheses. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Lena Blackburn rubbing mud. <laughs> Lena Backshot's oh, rubbing it mud? It is in New Jersey, so this actually yeah, wow. is probably the place. So what is the mud rubbed on? Uh, it's, like a, it's like a water-based lubricant. I mean, people have used mud for that, right? Almost oh, certainly, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's probably not, probably Wait, not good. This is are, really are we at the shore? Are we going to the shore? We're by AC? I don't I mean, this is Longport. Hit the tables, we, play the on. slots, play some craps. How is the mud? Get Por- Pork Island. What happens on Pork Island? What well, doesn't? You know? Um, I mean, supposedly huh? this is where the mud comes from, but it see, I didn't expect it to be like so it's good, so it's good on sea mud. the ocean. I I think of sand, personally. One of the reasons I was uh, oh, it's a tightly guarded secret. Oh, here we go. It would be fall. cool is like baseballs couldn't be synthetically replicated without this like Jersey Shore mud, and the whole sport had to end. <laughs> Okay, so this is it. Oh, that's the shore, baby. This is where Damn. the mud. Yeah, but it said the Fuck. mud. I think this is the mud 
company. What's the sign? What's it called? There's like nothing here though. Is this Lena Black Points? It's Longport. I don't well, know. that's a water tower. This is a municipal building. Oh wait, am I facing the wrong way? I mean, these are all houses. These are all beach houses. Yeah, I I am aware. Well, this he's is probably the got the got the got the point. This no, is the I fake put in the address. So enemies can't. He said this is the fake location, so his enemies can't steal the mud and sell it to the MLB. Oh, it's the real that's location real. is a secret. That's real. Okay, Wait, go back. Turn around. No more. Yeah, well, imagine stop. being these poor assholes who have to live here. What is it in Longport? Public works and put. So he gave like the city hall, basically. You see that? I wish I. Could. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, a lot, uh, every town has a water tower. Like Saw that. we you in New Jersey. <laughs> Oh, there's no mud here. Sorry if you're looking for mud for your baseballs. <laughs> oh, there we go. You see it? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, believe me. I, okay. I've been to the Jersey Shore as of late, and I was just about that. to say, like, damn, like, if there was, like, an industry, like, I would love to be able to, like, own a house on the Jersey Shore. But then I remembered, like, what most of those towns are like and what my own extended family can be like sometimes. And I was like, eesh, nah. Wait, hold up. J and J construction, yeah. Forget all that. Oh yeah, no, of course. It sucks that it's in like this style of home. I didn't know they were building these on the east coast too. I think these are. You know what I, I mean, these are right? Just getting built everywhere now. I don't think there's. I guess, way yeah. Avoid it. <clears throat> but this was this is like so many of them in the valley. Like, look at that big stupid window, and then like the three skinny ones. Like, if you're gonna pay, like, probably this is probably like two point five mil for a place like this close to the beach yeah. in Atlantic City um get a big port. window across the whole front right i mean then it's it's better than atlantic city like atlantic city is a shithole whoa they must have the dunes must have been washed away or something why does this keep rebuilt. happening why like what was wrong because they take they drive in different times they drive okay, in different times let busy do what they got to do same time same time same them, time it's all the same time it's all do. the exact same time and then let them do what they got to do let them do what they got to summer let them do what they let them cook the water tower looks like Mr. Meeseeks from Rick and Morty. This looks pretty nice. I'd go to Jersey. Dude, the Jersey Shore fucking rips. Uh, it's awesome. You it's just so it's, nicer. it's also so fucking expensive. Is it? Yeah. Well, how about like Ocean the, City? The, the, yeah. Uh, Maryland or Jersey? Apparently. Or in Jersey, this yeah. This is Jersey. Yeah, Ocean City's cool. All right. What's the cheapest place we can buy property on Jersey on the Jersey oh, Shore? Jesus, I don't know. Absolute cheapest. Uh, ooh, what if? Hey, here's an idea. What if we kind of? What if we kind of snuck in around stuff. here on the back end? Oh, in the bay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean the bay's nice. Wait, you think north? <laughs> no, I, I mean nice. it's. it's I want yeah, cheap. no, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's an area. I mean, like, there's like less nice towns. I don't know. See what Margate costs. I, I honestly don't know. It's south. Well, maybe someone who lives it's there. Closer to where we were, like Atlantic Wait. City, Ventnor, Margate, Ocean City. So is the is Jersey Shore just anything on the shore, or is there like a region? Is it like it's this anything weird, on the shore? This weird no, I mean, well, that's strip. There's a there's different strips of land, like so, like where you are if you go down. Uh, mm -hmm. like there's a seven mile stretch which is Avalon, and then there's like connects to like stone harbor like these are what i think of as this area right here to the south is what i think of as the jersey shore okay. avalon sea isle stone harbor uh Strat strathmere uh point pleasant further up though is also the jersey shore it's just closer to new york okay i'm seeing brigantine what, beach someone's saying wild the, the wildwood i mean like it's not actually gonna be cheap but this is where the boardwalk is the boardwalk of all boardwalks and also, uh, they had cool hoodies when I was there as a kid that said "Party Naked." Oh, <gasps> yeah. This is not that bad. Three hundred thousand. I mean, we... let me see this. Is this really how much this is? <clears throat> oh, but it's basically a studio house. Well, yeah, because these are vacation homes, right? Yeah. Well, this is what they were all supposed to be before. Oh my God! Look how close it is to the water. Oh, that's not the water. That's a home. <laughs> I gotcha. just saw blue. Gotcha, asshole. It does look like the ocean. That you're right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't mind it, but like, expensive. That's. I mean, for that. 
Yeah, I guess these aren't so bad. There's 400. Um, oh, it's a combo. Avalon is where I'd gone just because my family had a house there that everyone shared for a while. Let's take but, a look. What, they don't have it no more? Uh, no, we, we do. She doesn't. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this is what I was thinking about. Avalon's crazy Whoa. expensive. <laughs> I mean, but I guess like also though, look what look at what you're getting for six and a half yes, million. Yes, they look so fucking crazy. That's they keep knocking down these like cute like ranch style or do, uh, duplexes, duplexes, um, and building a, these just like they look like they look like the things from Mortal Engines, <laughs> like, <laughs> like just like a bunch of just shit put on top. Yeah, because it's not like you have a lot of land to work with, right? No, not really. But they build out to the end of the properties. Right. What is this? Just in the water here? Um, I mean... Oh, it's still got Yeah, the... kind of. Well, there's a whole area of Avalon that kind of sank. It happened in Philly, too. Shit keeps sinking. Yeah, they get hurricanes. Uh, 25. I mean, Hurricane now. Sandy was pretty destructive. Seven Mile Island, baby. Yeah, I mean, my grandmother oh, got wow. a place in the in the uh, '90s. So Dune Drive, these are the people that build on the dunes. Yeah, and that's this why is my only, grandmother this said is we only couldn't eat much million. chips. Yeah, and not so, even it's like a thousand short of that actually. And it's actually only one hundred and seventy thousand a month. So what's special about it is its elegant simplicity. I don't think anyone's actually buying this, right? This is so like Dune Drive. I used to go to I used to go to, used to, go to church off Dune Drive. These are properties that are they're hyper private. They're you know these are for like weird New York folks. I think that like just pop on down. You know. I also don't. But think this, this is house a steal. Exists yet? I think this is a fake. I mean that I sounds about this, right. Yeah. I think this is like just a mock up. Yeah. Right. I There's can't some even hell. Mm, that's not real. Yeah. No. No. But look at how much uh, more expensive this is. Twenty five million. Like the next most expensive thing is like eight. Dune Drive, baby. Dune Drive. It's on Dune, Dune. Drive. It's it's one block. It's up on Dune. Dune it's on Dune Drive. So is this Dune Drive, baby? So is this? It's six huh? five bed six bath. Dune Drive. Yeah, Dune Drive. Well, it's on sixty third, but it's it's actually Wait, closer. Check, to the there's a, there's Dune another Drive. there's another street you might want to check out actually that's like Dune Drive. Okay. It's called um Dune Your Mom. Uh huh. Oh, okay, hang on, let me. Oh my god! So I can just look at Dune. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing it! He's mom. typing it. Oh my god, it's not coming up it. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything for Dune, your mom. Um. Hmm. Okay. Kate it's funny you say that though, because I was Dune, your can mom last night. <laughs> Oh my god, he got me. Can you see what property is on the Strait of Magellan in South America? Of course. I think that's it passed through uh, Chile. Strathmere, New Jersey, you said? No, the Strait of Magellan. <laughs> so we could just find it on the map, honestly. Go south. Go south. Go south. Zoom in. Kay. Go up. Okay, go up. <laughs> okay, go up. I don't know if I'm. Okay, I think so. Where we are is at, yeah, I'm uh, to find our... an elementary school right here. <laughs> One bath. Apply. Does anyone live on Antarctica, or is it just like scientists? Uh, there's no permanent residents. But mm. yeah, it's That's like a shame. science groups. You know, I used to like. I, I get in, I applied get in there. to work there. Go before. up. I wanted to work there go so up. bad. Go up. Scroll, zoom in. Okay, Damn, that, this uh, is what Chile looks like at the bottom in Argentina. Yeah, it's crazy. Zoom in. That see, like where your mouse is, just to the to below it, that like kind of diagonal line. This. So see where Punta Punta Arenas is. Arenas. I can't really see that. No. Oh, up here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's like that, and then down to the left, kicking out of Chile is that's the Strait of Magellan. This. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading a great book about that that wooden ship. I gotta lend to you when I'm done. What are the these? wager? This is crazy. Mountains, dude. Yeah, so this is this area is. I mean, it, it's so bad that they. I mean, cut Panama in half is really all you need to know. Well, also, <laughs> I, also, it's like thousands and thousands of miles saved. 
Yes, but you have to, un- you know, it's imagine like it, when think. the technology was so nascent that like that seems completely unrealistic. And then they were like, what if we just cut it in half? But yeah, these islands, these mountains are crazy. Obviously, you're not going to want to sail through here in March. No. Obviously, you're not going to do that. I don't think the, can the you equinoctal... real estate down here. I'm not seeing anything. The market, man. The market. The market is pretty rough. Maybe I'm just not getting like if I go somewhere else. Is South yeah, America not in Zillow? That might be it too. Just like go Google. Just look up uh, South South Southern uh, Chile, uh, Chile. Streets of Magellan. Okay, cool. And Phoenix, New Phoenix, Times. Phoenix, New Times. House in front of the Strait of Magellan, Puerto Arenas. Yeah, Chile. Go to that YouTube channel. Oh my God. Mm hmm. That's not working. It's one of the most beautiful houses, they say. Okay. Oh, here we go. Can you go to that one that looks like a corporate uh, thing? This? Yeah. This is really doing it for me. Um, <laughs> sure, yeah. I, I, hey, can I say I ship them? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I see. I think they're I think they're cute. I think they work. Yeah. So in the book I'm reading, it talks about how before entering the strait on St. Julian Island, Magellan squashed an actual like mutiny plot. Um, mm-hmm. And he like had them like, you know, murdered and quartered and hung from the from the top ropes. Which, I would have like, done that, too, probably. You know, me. you got it. You got to rule Iron Fist. Velvet, Velvet Glove, Glove. Like you said. Mm-hmm. So Francis Drake played the hits and decided to do the exact same thing and accused a guy. <laughs> he was like, he was like, you are trying to take over. The guy was like, I swear to God, I'm not even you can take me back to England and try me in front of a court. And <laughs> Drake was like, I uh, I don't want any crafty lawyers. So they said, and I care not for the laws <laughs> and then oh. cut his head off with an ax. Okay. And like, Shit. it seems that all those claims were, were fraudulent. So he basically did it to hype himself and everyone else up and then went south around the horn. But like, he was like, I don't need any crafty lawyers and then used an ax and held the still dripping head up in front of the crew. That's awesome. Um, and that's, uh, that's Uncharted's grandpa. Can I can I read you something, please? I would love Finally. that. Coming to the end here, but I just want to read this. Yeah. Each July, the Bintif crew, the Bintliff crew, heads a boat. Bintif out, sounds like a Star Wars name. Heads a boat out to the old mud hole and scoops up hundreds of pounds of the magic mud, enough for one Ooh. season. Ooh. Blah blah blah. Does Jim Bentliff wave a magic wand over the mud during the winter or add some mysterious ingredient to it? That, too, is a dark secret. He'll never tell. Dark? Why is it a dark secret? That suggests yeah. that there's something, like it's like a blood diamond. It is. What counts is that the muck, perfectly described as resembling a cross between chocolate pudding and whipped cold cream, really works. Other kinds of mud and even mechanical methods have been tried to de-slick baseballs, but they couldn't make the grade. So when the umpire oh, it's yells, oh, for the de-slicking process. <laughs> so when the empire yells, "Play ball!" Rest assured, good New Jersey mud will be part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good Jersey mud. <laughs> See, that there's good no Jersey. There's mud. no mud like Jersey mud. Okay, you can't put fucking... a different mud on the ball. It's the best. It's the best fucking mud. Know. What do they do with this mud? What do you think? They rub it. Where? With the sun do oh, shine, they do my something friend. With the, it's for the balls. They de-slick them. De-slick. No, I don't know what that do means. Do, I mean, do they even Look use it up. more than once? I don't. Look it up. What is mud used for in baseball? Okay, yes, Lena. I'm Rough aware of who makes it. Six or seven new balls. Prepared for every game. Baseball Wait, hang rub on. And mud. Do you? How many balls do they use in a baseball? I kind of just assumed that they it was a they new ball. They just use the same time. one. Do they? The whole they season, right? Each team gets the whole a ball. season. They get one ball. Yeah. Have to share. <laughs> oh, I mean, like I think they use. They'll probably go for a handful. Like usually, the ump will just toss one to the to the 
to the catcher and the pitcher will use that. But mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think, I think it's flexible, but I don't think it's a very high number. Yeah. It may be per inning. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it says six I, I really or don't. seven. Like, that doesn't, you know. I mean, that makes sense, you know, considering the hits and like hitting the glove and, you know, crack of the bat. I kind of just know, assumed it was one of those park, things you know? like to sports. You know, sports are pretty, it's fairly wasteful when it comes to that type of stuff. Extremely so, yeah. Um, I kind of just assumed well, that every time someone touches a bat, that's the first time they've ever touched that bat and the well, last time anyone else will touch it. Can you look up how many, uh, there's, there's a great deal of games in the regular season. So if there's, hold on. Um, how many games in a season? 162 games um, for each of the 30 teams. Now, if they're playing each other, then I would multiply that by 15? Mm-hmm. Right? Sure. I don't know. Two. Times yogurt. Fuck's sake. 15 times. Let's say six is conservative. So that's only 14,580 balls by their estimate. Not counting the bullpen or practice or the minors. Um... I think we're not using enough. I think we need to. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm an accelerationist, mm-hmm. so I think we should get we should get cooking on even more. Boy, yeah, damn, how many baseballs? Do you think they like 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 airdrop like hundreds of thousands of baseballs on like like they do with like Super Bowl merch oh, for the losing team? Hang on, I know yeah, they actually I'm just sure kind of they, take the yeah. stitching out and just reuse the material, but. Uh, okay, so it looks like I was off by about 190, 185,000 to 285,000. Okay. Someone's saying the, the mud is rubbed into the ball every game. Like There's like 50 per game, and the mud is rubbed in beforehand. Hmm. I'm also seeing from 6abc.com, which is a local... Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Philadelphia. Every every major minor league team. That. Oh yeah, every major and minor league team uses this mud, and most of the NFL, including guess who? Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles. What am I going to say, Patrick? Go Birds. Go Birds, indeed. Dun, 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 dun. Um, There's um, videos um, of um, gays rubbing the balls. What? Oh, Where? Yeah. Jeggings? <laughs> oh. Oh. I just am so tickled by the idea of a bar called Jeggings <laughs> that it, I'm not going to let go of it. <laughs> oh. Jeggings Restaurant. Move closer to your world today. Nothing. And then we get then we get some traffic on the twos. KYW ten sixty. This is traffic on the twos. Just happened. Can't see. Oh, I just closed thing. it. I closed oh. the window. The NFL goes through more footballs than the MLB does every season. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I'm purposely misreading doesn't. your comment, Ray Burton. I apologize. Um, I believe it, though. They want a new ball. No with every play. 1060. How many basketballs do you think they go through in a game? Like a million? Uh, a million? I don't know how much time you got. Is it a million? Probably a quarter mil. A quarter mil? Okay, I was off by a little bit. Because everyone gets a ball when yeah. they leave the stadium. Yeah. A lot of people <laughs> yeah, don't know. Game. Well, a lot of people, you know how, like, you know, people are always like, you can actually get, like, uh, people, they'll teach you how to hang shelves at your library. Like, there's already these resources yeah, yeah. you don't know. If you ask for a basketball, they'll give you one. They uh, have to. Like, they have to. Pretty much every, the only, the only stadium that doesn't do it, the only team is the Toronto Raptors because they don't have as many rights up there. Yes. And I know. First of all, it's going to sound weird, but it's usually Peyton Manning. Who I look, I know he's not yeah. a basketball. I know he's not a basketball player. I understand yep. that. 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't get it either. But it's often him who's handing them out at the end of the games. I mean, often he's usually in, in town lot. because he personally is checking on the, you know, each Papa John's location. And you have to assume just by the sheer amount that they're going to be near well, a stadium. Been, he's been delivering a lot of this mud. He has been taking the mud around, and Eli's been telling him, he's like, Peyton, you're back. It's not good, it's not good for you. Mm-hmm. He says, I'm going to take this mud, and I'm going to give it to everybody who needs it. Peyton's and I'm also going to hand boy. out basketballs. <laughs> he's a mud boy, I yeah. I don't know if what a show knows this, but Peyton's become a bit of a mud boy in the I don't, last I don't know if you knew if he was a stinky little hog man but yeah. who's handing out mud to the majors. He loves to roll around and hand mud to the majors. Give the majors a fistful <laughs> of mud any chance he gets. And don't even get me started on the minors. He likes the way that it squishes and makes squeak like noises when he when he shakes their hands he with this little mitt full of mud. He doesn't even know what they use it for. He doesn't Peyton Manning thinks that he thinks that people go to baseball stadiums and it's like a picnic. Because he's so mud brained, he can only think about that that wet, wet dirt. By the time know? Peyton gives you your mud. Yes. He doesn't give a shit what it's you. He's already gotten what he wants out of this. Yes. Which was the to in transfer fact, mud to, from him to you. Mm-hmm. And That's you're like, how does likes. he transport it? How does he transport it? Well, it's, they give him blocks of clay and he works the mud. Yeah. He has a, a yeah. spinning wheel. but he And he spins beautiful. They say it's beautiful pottery, but he destroys <laughs> it and p- puts it back he into mud. He crushes it. End. Yeah. He says, all part of the process, all part of the process, all what part once, of the process. He says, yeah, what once was mud will be mud again. Yeah. And he's he does, always saying Yeah. That. He's and always he, saying that. He's if you go into his saying. house, he, has, he had a beautiful property. Yeah. Beautiful oh, yeah. Beautiful property. Acres and acres. That All that acreage now, dirty old yeah. mud. And he's it's trying, dirty old mud. The thing is, he's trying. He knows he can't get it to where, to where the to this New Jersey slop. He can't. I mean, he's he's yeah. trying to catch up to New Jersey slop technology. And he's. I don't think he's going to get there personally. As mm-hmm. someone who spent a great deal of time in New Jersey in my childhood, like their mud game's strong. Mm-hmm. I mean, Apparently there's really the there's best. no two Apparently ways about it's it. Best. It's the best. They got the best mud game, and and Peyton's going to have to like. I mean, like, if he's got the the work ethic, and if he can like reconcile reconcile his you know differences regarding mud with his brother, mm-hmm. I think they could be some of the greats in the business. The mud twins. <laughs> they could be the Manning. They could, yeah. They could be the Manning, yeah, be the Manning mudders. They're going to back shots locations all across the Plain states. They're installing styes. <laughs> They're hitting. They're, they're, they have a Dakota. they have a presentation North where they're like, Dakota. "What a sty could do for your back shot." <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of men with hands tied behind their backs, eating out of a sty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peyton has a trough. Peyton walks um, by and goes, "Come on, boys, let me hear that. Let me hear you squeal, boys." <laughs> That's on, why boys. when he was calling plays, that's how he would do it. Go forty-two, fifty-two, see. And he's one of the greats. And that's why they for that call reason. the classic Peyton squeal. <laughs> Man, anyway, where, nobody. I mean, like they're not gonna. Play? Where did he play? Uh, Peyton Manning. I mean, he played I a couple. Think, where was his like? I where think did he, he was in the XFL. Was it XFL? Right? Did he? Play yeah. With, did he play sure. with? Um, I, did he play alongside? Also, he was a Broncos. He, he was a Broncos me? guy. He was because I don't want people player. to come for us. Yeah, Col- Colts and Broncos. I, mean, um, I know him as a. Bron- I think of him as a Broncos player. Yogurt, get the fuck off. I love you. Stop. So that never, sad Eli so Manning picture he is because play with he's... He hate me from the XFL then. You're saying? Yeah, I don't think he did that. Okay. I know that he played with he hate me. Yeah. Um, They've been trying to get a deal cooking with the... Uh, is the lingerie football league still happening? The sex FL or whatever. <laughs> it's just one of those strangest things. Who's Armand. Trying to get a deal yeah, welcome back. The mud the mud boys. Oh the mud the boys. The mud twins. Yeah. I think it still exists. Let's take a look. Cause if they could get some mud, that would probably take them like into the upper, you know, if not the stratosphere, at least the ionosphere, which may be above it. I'm actually not up to date on my, my spheres. Um Andre football, the X the X women's football league mm-hmm. where can i see lfl football 
Um, they, um, you know, there's some trees about banned in some places. Hmm. Probably because they didn't have good enough mud to get the the sport off the oh, ground. Do you think so? I mean, yeah. Uh, it's owned currently owned by Mike Ditka. Okay. Um, Legends and, football. And a you a YouTube soccer player. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. Is it still going? They got new uniforms in the 2016 season. Oh, they didn't do a 2023 season, but they have plans to announce a 2024. I mean, this this okay. this is sad. this is kind of a bummer because like I feel like a lot of these women probably just want to play football, right? Yeah, I mean, and, it, and it, is, is, it is. It is. a bummer. The one. This is the avenue. Yeah. Makes you appreciate uh, women's soccer and basketball. Tennis. Volleyball. Tennis. The tennis is also a great sport. Thank you, Patrick. Um, I'm just no use for mud, sporter. though. No use for mud. No use for mud. Secret Sleepover Society just started streaming, so I'm thinking we raid. Oh, God, I thought you were going to say uh, they raided. I was like, no, no. No, 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 they didn't. They didn't. No. Are they live now? It says they're offline when I click into it. Following. Yeah, they oh they must have just stopped. <laughs> All right. Well let's raid Lawrence. I don't care. Or is Jacob streaming? Um I forgot it doesn't change. It doesn't show you everything. <laughs> Philly had a team called the Passion. <laughs> In laundry for Polly. <laughs> Oh Jesus God! Now Christ. it feels gross. I would. I wish we were just talking about mud. I wish I hadn't hey, brought that up. Brought it up. I will also say, if anyone here in the chat came to one of the tour shows, uh, thank you. I met a lot of really cool people, um, and played some great shows. And uh, we've got another one, another another tour cooking that I can't really say anything about because there's no details planned oh. out yet. But uh, it was an awesome, awesome, awesome experience. And uh, mostly plains states. Yeah. It's going to be the plane store. There we go. Ow! Boy, I love you, you idiot. Yeah, we got your ass. All right. Uh, let's raid Lawrence. That is... Wait, I thought you said Secret Sleep. They're not, I don't see them live. No, they went offline as soon as I clicked in. Oh, interesting. Like, it, they had been live for three hours and then ended basically I probably see, at I see, nine. I see, I see, they probably I see, went I from like... I see. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Someone without Twitter, please announce on Discord. Oh, the announce on Discord. I mean, you don't have Twitter. No. Charlotte doesn't have Twitter. I mean, or, I she have does, it, but doesn't use it. Follow her Instagram. Well, no, I don't have Twitter because I have X. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, no, yeah. Follow Mom's Home. Uh, so yeah, don't don't worry about. Won't be announcing on Twitter. Ow, baby. Oh, let's get out of here. This hurts um, my We are going to raid Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. Where are Lawrence? Why is it not Ellen showing me? Area. Like, just give me the people I actually follow. There we go. Oh, the Twitch rating system is so weird. Oh, and he's live. He's not watching here. commercials. All right. Say hi to Lawrence for us, and um, I don't know. Bye, uh, it's all love. It's all, and it's all love. And yeah, it's all and love. It's all, it's all, it's tell it's Lawrence all love. we said it's all love. <laughs> yeah, tell Lawrence it's all love. All right, bye. <laughs> Are we off? I think. Hang on, no. 